Hi, good evening. If you're watching this later, uh, we're just about to start and I'm just going to wait a few more minutes for people to join. Now, sometimes people pop up on here and sometimes comments pop up. I'm trying to make sure I can get both. Um, okay, I can see some people joining. Hi, good evening. How are you all? Hi, Jess. Uh, okay, I've got it right now this time. Sometimes I only get comments and sometimes I just see the people popping up, but I can see um, a bit of both now. So it's really lovely to see you. Hi, David. Uh, lovely to see you guys. Um, thanks for joining. Hi, Jenny. Um, so we're going to get started in a, in a minute or two. Um, I'm going to start by reading. Hi, Matt Crew. Hi, Sheila. Oh, this is nice. I get to see lots of people popping up now. Hi, Dan. So I hope you're all doing well. Are you surviving? Are you thriving? Are you doing OK? Um, it's been a long time since we've all seen each other. I've seen some people out and about, um, you know, maybe in the shops and that sort of thing. Um, but um, I'm sure we're all waiting and praying and uh, yearning for when we can all gather back together. But hasn't this been amazing, this kind of little rhythm that we've got going of, of morning devotions and prayer? And um, I don't know about you, but um, uh, I don't always get to see it on the night, uh, the prayers, but sometimes I'll, I'll watch them during, during the next day. Um, and it's just lovely to feel connected and part of that. If you don't know me, my name's Chris. I'm part of the senior leadership team and I'm going to be leading this evening. Um, I've been thinking uh, since, I don't know, since over the weekend, uh, you know, sometimes you just have those sort of prevailing thoughts, don't you? And, and you um, sometimes as you press into them, you begin to hear the voice of God. Um, at least that's how God speaks to me quite a bit. And I've just been hearing God speak about forgiveness and how powerful it is. I've been thinking about um, the Lord's Prayer, um, how we acknowledge that we have been forgiven. And then um, Jesus teaches us to pray uh, for those who have offended us or hurt us to, to pray for their forgiveness. And so, um, yeah, basically, I just thought we could this evening go on a bit of a, a journey of forgiveness and um, maybe there are um, a few categories that we can begin to think of. Um, we're going to start by praying for forgiveness for our country. Um, so before God, we're going to intercede for the UK, um, for our country to pray for, for, for forgiveness, pray for God's hand to touch us and bless us and turn towards us. Um, and then also there might be some things that, um, that we will lead into to do with personal forgiveness. And um, I know for me, when I first became a Christian, this whole area of forgiveness was uh, quite, un, uh, quite unknown to me um, because I, w I didn't grow up as a Christian. I wasn't brought up in a Christian household. Um, I had quite a, a sort of tricky childhood. Um, my biological father left when I was two. So there was a lot of anger and hurt there. Um, my mum had a boyfriend in my sort of early teens, uh, well before that, who was um, an alcoholic and he used to beat us and beat my mum. And so there was a lot of unforgiveness and anger there. Uh, I also was put in a children's home uh, in my uh, younger childhood. And again, there was just a lot of um, rejection and anger and uh, so when I became a Christian, I I really knew on the day that I became a Christian that I'd been forgiven by God and and I knew that I'd been set free. But then it was a little while later that I realised that that forgiveness that I'd received was also forgiveness that I needed to give. And uh, it took a while. Some of those things needed to be thought through and prayed through. But by God's grace, by Christ in me, I was able to forgive uh, those that had hurt me but it's a challenge isn't it so um, I just want to start by reading 
um, the Lord's Prayer I'm reading in the Passion Translation. It says this, Our Father, dwelling in the heavenly realms, may the glory of your name be the centre on which our lives turn. Manifest your kingdom realm and cause your every purpose to be fulfilled on earth, just as it is fulfilled in heaven. We acknowledge you as our provider of all we need each day. Forgive us the wrongs we have done as we ourselves release forgiveness to those who have wronged us. Rescue us every time we face tribulation and set us free from evil. For you are the king who rules with power and glory forever. Amen. So you see that connection. Um, forgive us the wrongs we have done. So we pray for our own forgiveness as we release forgiveness to those who have wronged us. And so that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to release forgiveness. Uh, so we're going to start first um, just by crying out for the nation. And the way that we intercede, we don't stand off afar and say they are this and they're sinful, but we stand in the place of our nation. And so we acknowledge to God that we have turned away. So I, I would love for you to join with me as we do that. So let's just acknowledge that as a, as a nation, we've turned away from God. Um, our, our nation is saturated in, in a Christian history, um, but we have turned away from the living God. We are no longer listening to his voice. We no longer have God at the centre of our, of our lives. And so let's cry out on behalf of our nation, Jesus we acknowledge that you have forgiven us, that we stand forgiven. As a nation, we stand forgiven, but we don't realise that your cross has wiped away every sin. And Lord God, we want to come to you on behalf of our nation and, be, and behalf of nations around the world. So maybe you, are, you were born uh, or, or your heritage is from a different nation. You can begin to pray for that nation. But God, I want to pray as someone that was born in the UK, someone who was born in England that represents these, um, these, these countries. God, I pray, Lord, that you would forgive us. Lord, we have turned away from you. Lord, we have pushed you out of our nation. We have pushed you out of our government, out of our laws, out of our schools, out of our institutions, out of our universities. And Lord, we just beg that you would come and forgive this nation the Lord, that there would be a move of your spirit over the UK, that you would um, call us back to um, repentance and following you. Lord, we, we acknowledge the past of this nation, uh, some of it good and some of it terrible, God. And Lord, we ask that you would forgive us. We ask, Lord, for the checkered history of our colonisation Lord, for the way that we have treated nations around the world, the way that we have um, ruled and made subject nations. God, we pray that you would forgive us. We pray, Father, uh, for, uh, for forgiveness for our pride, Lord, where we have pushed you out and we have shunned you and pushed you away. Lord Jesus, please forgive us, we pray. Pour out your spirit upon this nation. And for those praying for other nations around the world, let's just do that. For those praying for African nations or uh, nations from Asia or, or the Americas, uh, we just stand with you from, from uh, uh, main, mainland Europe. We stand with you on behalf of your nation. We say, God, forgive us. Lord, we cry out for a pouring out of your spirit in these days. That, Lord, this world would turn to you. That Jesus you would be on the throne and seen as the true and, and only God, that the only name that salvation, salvation is found is your name. So we just lift high the name of Jesus over the UK, over the nations of the world, and we stand before you, Jesus, uh, and we ask, Lord, that you would forgive us. Forgive us and pour out your spirit. So I touched on in my story, I don't know if you've just joined us, but we're looking at forgiveness. But um, I touched on in my story that there was parental forgiveness that needed um, to be released from me. And um, I, I don't know if you've heard this, but unforgiveness is a bit like drinking poison. Um, it doesn't touch anyone else. It doesn't harm anyone else, but it destroys us. 
And so um, this evening, you know, if there is um, people that you need to forgive in your family, maybe it's a parent, maybe it's a sibling, um, maybe it's a loved one. I, I, I don't know. But I just want to take a moment now to just uh, lead us in that. And um, the thing is with forgiveness that it releases the power of God. It releases the peace of God in our lives. And so uh, if unforgiveness is like drinking poison, then then releasing forgiveness is like drinking in the streams of the spirit. It just ministers to us. And so if you've got someone that you need to forgive in your family, let's do that now. Um, it's not saying that what they did is OK or right. It's acknowledging that you've been hurt before God um, and some of you have been hurt way beyond my understanding. But you know what? In, in the strength of Christ, you can turn and forgive. And so, Lord Jesus, we forgive those that have wronged us. Lord, we forgive our parents. We forgive siblings. We forgive family members. We forgive wives and husbands. Lord, where we've been wronged or hurt. Um, Jesus, we invite you into those places, into those, uh, into those wounds. God, would you release the spirit of forgiveness over your church that we would walk out of the enslavement of unforgiveness and into uh, the wonder of your forgiveness. Lord, we release parents. We release them to you. We release brothers and sisters and siblings. We release loved ones, uh, husbands and wives, Lord, where we have been hurt or maybe we have hurt. Lord, we ask for forgiveness and we release forgiveness. In your name we pray. Just a sense that some of us may have been hurt by leaders uh, of churches or organisations. Let's just forgive. Let's release that. Shall we release that over our lives and over uh, others' lives? So, Lord, we would just release and we forgive church leaders or leaders of institutions where we've been wounded and hurt. We let go of all offence. And we pray, Lord, again, for your spirit of forgiveness to be released in our lives and over people's lives. Lord, we want to be free from unforgiveness and offence. We want to walk in the freedom of your spirit. Help us, Lord, to forgive, we pray. And just lastly, um, some of us need to realise that we can forgive ourselves. Um, maybe some of you, I, I've definitely been in this place where I just beat myself up over a mistake. It might have been 10 years ago. It might have been two minutes ago. You know, Jesus stands as the one who speaks forgiveness over us and he has forgiven us he has cleared our name he has wiped the debt free and so we cannot stand before God and say that we hold an offense against ourselves it might be that you've injured yourself it might be that you've made financial mistakes it might be uh, that you have feel like you've let people down whatever it might be um, I just ask that tonight you would just release forgiveness to yourself so I'm just going to lead us in a short prayer to do that Jesus I stand before you I acknowledge that I am loved and cherished and embraced by you that I am forgiven washed clean no longer stained by sin or shame for all guilt and shame is gone as I stand in your grace. But Jesus, I acknowledge that there are areas where I find hard to forgive myself. Maybe things that I have done wrong. Maybe things that I haven't done. Maybe the way that I've treated other people, the way that I've treated my own self. Tonight, Jesus, I want to receive forgiveness for myself so I just say that out loud Jesus I forgive myself for my past I forgive myself and I release myself into your freedom and into the life of your spirit Jesus fill me with your presence 
fill me and overflow me with your unending love and release me to serve you in every moment of every day forward from this, I pray. In your holy name. Amen. Well, we've run out of time. I just um, I just want to encourage you to continue to forgive. There might be people living around you, neighbours, colleagues at work, um, politicians, uh, people on TV. I don't know that there, there's all sorts of people that irritate us. And maybe the person that cut you up on the road today uh, didn't use the indicators, which not a lot of Liverpudlians do. Um, and I also don't sometimes. Um, but whatever's happened, we can release forgiveness because we have been forgiven. So out of the fullness of the forgiveness we've received, let's continue to forgive people. Let's let, a go, let go of offences and walk in the lightness and the peace of the Holy Spirit. So I bless you in the name of Jesus to continue to release forgiveness. And I bless you with the peace of God and the presence of the Spirit upon your home and upon your family and upon yourself in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Bless you guys. See you soon.